Before you step into 2014, I would invite you to do it with a clean slate. Do it with a clean slate, not having any baggage with you. Any baggage that you've been carrying up till now, it's only been weighing you down. Let go of it all, step into 2014 with a clean slate. It's the best thing you could ever do. Uh, that quite often means uh, letting go of grudges, forgiveness, forgiving people. And it's, it's a powerful thing. For, forgiveness is actually a stepping stone to gratitude. Forgiveness isn't the end result. But forgiveness is an important stepping stone and it's, there's actually a miracle. There, miracles happen with, with forgiveness. Um, I, I was actually just listening to a, um, an, an audio with uh, David Wood and he was saying how he was at this event and the, the, the facilitator of the event was, was saying to him, you've all got someone to forgive so, and brought them through a process to forgive the, this, whoever it was. And for, for, for David Wood, he had this, this, someone came up that he, had to, he knew he had to forgive, right? But what he had, he had a wart on his foot, or Veruca, or whatever, and he tried everything to get rid of this. He would tried to freeze it, he tried to cut it off with, with scissors and all sorts of things, just, just kept coming back, just kept coming back, you know? So, that's, so it's like, so he then um, went through his process, forgave this person, didn't even know he really had to forgive him, kind of put him to the back of his mind, and quite often the people in life that we need to forgive the most, we don't even realize it. Sometimes we don't even realize it. Sometimes the people who we really love the most, or we don't even realize that we've been holding anything against them, you know? And so he realized this, and after he went through the process that the facilitator took him through, he noticed on his foot, because he was wearing sandals, that the wart started to go uh, like a white color. And within 15 minutes, it just actually peeled off and fell off. And when he told the story, I, you know, I absolutely believe it because I understand the power of forgiveness. Some people go, no way, that, that's impossible or whatever. But, it, but it's not, you know, that, that is the, the miracle that can happen with forgiveness. So if you're having health, issue, health issues or whatever, quite often it can be down to really what's going on in there, you know. What, what baggage are we holding on to? What, how, how's that manifesting into uh, sickness or disease in our body? So by going through the process of forgiving someone, it can actually just free us of so much. We just let go of so much, let go of so much baggage that we're hauling through life. And it's a very freeing and enlightening, enlightening thing when we do that. And once we do it, then we can step into the next stage after forgiveness is to being grateful for it, being grateful for the lesson because all of, all of life is lessons. So it's not that someone has done us harm and then we have to be all pious and forgive them um, to uh, and like, like let them off the hook, so to speak, pardon them or whatever. The forgiveness is for us more than, more than for them because when, when we're not forgiving, then we're just we're just we're poisoning ourselves. So by understanding that there's a lesson to learn from every single person that seems to have done us wrong in the past, and once we get that lesson, then we move past forgiveness and we step into thank you. And forgiveness becomes, thank you for giving me that experience. A little play on words. Thank you for giving me that experience. Forgiving, right? Um, so then you can be in a state of gratitude. And it's gratitude that opens up the heart and allows us to experience the love. So once we go through the stepping stone of, of forgiveness to the gratitude, which is then comes to the love, right? So this is a, a, a heart a heartfelt topic that we're talking about. This is, this is a, a topic of the heart. The heart can heal anything. The heart is so much more powerful than, than any conscious thought we can have. So when we connect to the heart and we let go of things, that can be incredibly powerful. That can change our lives. That can change our health within minutes, like, like it did with David Wood with his, with his wart and stuff like that. And that's what can happen. And that, that's been the experience of many, many people who've had much more serious diseases there's many stories out there of people who have had serious diseases and they've gone ahead and uh, gone through various processes like that, let go of that old baggage, forgiving people, and their whole life has changed, their health has changed, they've you know, been healed of these, uh, these diseases they've had or whatever, it's been terminal issues. And lives change, lives can change in moments when we do that. So 
maybe the most important thing you'll do stepping into 2014 is letting go of the baggage forgiving and then uh, getting to the place of thank you for giving me that experience and then connecting with the heart and step into step into 2014 and lead from your heart that's my invite okay thank you for watching and see you tomorrow